life in general. We are each assigned to an advisor in our major department who helps plan schedules and even helps us interpret the college catalog. As a first semester freshman, a typical program might include English, food preparation, color and design and art, physical education, math or foreign language, and textiles. The second semester's program would probably include English, basic chemistry, clothing selection and construction, speech, and physical education. Everyone knows that home economics majors so. Many, however, do not realize how much a home economics teacher or home agent must know about skills, techniques, and principles of clothing selection and construction. This is a view of an advanced class making children's garments. Home economics majors take three semesters of clothing. We have experiences that vary from simple construction processes and demonstrations to hand tailoring of a suit or a coat. No one can ever forget the excitement of the homecoming activities. Pom-poms are sold, S Club sells buttons, and of course, we have candidates for Queen. Judy and Sharon are both home economics majors. The home economics club adds to the fun by making and selling caramel apples. Most organizations have floats in the homecoming parade. Whoops, dear, who says we're not excited? The football game on Saturday afternoon finds the stadium filled with rooting spectators cheering our pointers on to victory. Other major sports are also found on our campus. It's time to do your Christmas shopping. The Christmas sale of the Home Economics Club is an annual event to earn money to aid in carrying on our other club projects. Each girl makes one or more articles that could be used for Christmas gifts. Many of us take this opportunity to do our own Christmas shopping. This little stuffed animal is an example of some of the toys on display for sale. These are all samples of what variety our bazaar brings forth. It's a good advertisement for the talents the home economics girls possess. This large bulletin board, uh, located on the second floor, gives a forecast of important coming events. Bulletin boards in the second floor hallway provide our communication system. College theater, paper staff, honorary fraternities, religious groups, and professional groups are just a few of the organizations in which we may participate. Home Economics Club is our professional organization. It has its own bulletin board, too. We are very proud of the college library erected in 1953. In one section, books are reserved for special class reference, and in another, general reference material, newspapers, and magazines are available for study or for personal use. Well, it seems as if the men's students are making more use of this section today than our women's students. Our foods classes give us a chance to be creative and to apply the art principles as well as principles of food preparation. We learn many skills and techniques that will aid us in our professional work. In these courses, students learn to plan and prepare meals that are satisfying, to buy food wisely, to store and preserve food scientifically, and to serve meals efficiently and graciously. Professional grooming is also a part of our learning. Our curriculum includes three courses in foods, food preparation, meal planning and serving, and nutrition. Although our major is professional home economics, including all aspects of homemaking, rather than a specialized foods or clothing, or equipment major, some of our graduates 
except positions where food's work is their primary responsibility. A few of these are home service work with public utilities, or in institutional foods, or as food products demonstrator. In our own homes, too, we can make everyday use of the understanding we gain of nutritional needs and ways to keep our families well fed, on a budget, too, mind you. Evaluation is an important part of our learning. In our textile course, we learn to judge quality, care, and suitability of fabrics. We also work with rug looms and make lighter weight fabrics with woven designs. A home economics major must meet college requirements as well as those of the home economics department. A science background is necessary. Here, the girls are learning to tie an electrical knot. Here is a view of the exterior of the library. The location of the library is convenient to the main building by tunnel or by walk. It is also near the dormitories. Our library is more than just a place to study from books and publications. There are music listening rooms, a little theater where select movies and TV programs may be viewed, and drama and music productions are staged. Special rooms and typewriters are provided for students, and seminar rooms are available for conferences. At our college, the textbooks are provided for students without charge. With the outstanding collection of reference material, it is our own fault if we do not learn. Just down this walk is Delzell Hall, which is now a men's dormitory, but within a few years it will become a second dormitory for women. The student union is now housed in Delzell Hall. Every home economics major has a chance to apply what she has learned during the time that she lives at the home management house. The regular duties of the well-ordered home are divided equally among the six girls. I guess this photographer thinks we're a bit speedier than we really are. The importance of thought, organization, and planning is emphasized as the homemaking tasks are carried on in addition to schoolwork, entertaining, and other activities. Home management residence is typical of living in a home, with perhaps one exception. Instead of men as regular members of the family, they are only callers. The schedule must include time for these important callers. In this age, when fabrics are made of varied weaves and all kinds of substances, from coal to corn shucks, we must know and understand the basic principles of textile weaving and composition. It is a real thrill to make your own evening bag with metallic thread, a neck scarf, or a decorative object for the hope chest. We may choose our own design for these handwoven projects. A handwoven rug to suit your own color scheme may come in handy for your room at the dorm, for a Christmas gift, or another hope chest item. The experiences in this course become a direct application of our art courses, color and design, and home furnishings. We learn about the general physical and chemical makeup of these raw materials and with this knowledge, it is easier for us. Looks like it's nearly prom time again. Signs of spring are all around the home management house. Ah, the excitement of a formal dance. These two girls are radiant as they get ready to go to the annual junior prom. This is Grace and Faith's room in the home management house. Many times the girls show their skill and art by making their own formals. One nice advantage of a roommate is the help she can be to the other one. 
Too soon the long-anticipated night is over, and after saying their good nights, the girls are back again in their bedroom. They've had a good time, as you can see by the expressions they show as they relate the night's happenings. This will be another moment to remember in their memos of college life. The campus is a matrimonial bureau, goes the complaint. Chance meetings occur, dates follow, and engagement and marriages often develop. These are the culprits, boys, girls, and spring. Which of the three, as the college officials, shall we abolish? It's funny how many of us say, I'd like to major in home economics, but I know I don't want to teach. And then, after learning to understand boys and girls, and having experience in actually organizing learning situations and teaching, we decide teaching can be f satisfying. Yes, actually fun. Our first experience is with junior high school girls. Later we teach at the high school and perhaps adults. We depend on a supervisor to help plan, meet problem situations, and to stand by just in case. Can it be that these four exciting, fun-packed years are drawing to a close? As the seniors and faculty line up in their academic paraphernalia, there is an air of excitement, pomp, and circumstance. The close association among students and faculty has brought rich and lasting friendships. But we know that as professional opportunities take us to various sections of the state, and even to other states, our ties with our friends may be loosened and stretched, renewed only by occasional return visits. Home economics graduates are finding positions that suit such personal choices as teaching home economics in a school of the size and location of their choice, becoming a home agent and working with rural homemakers and boys and girls, or working as a home education consultant with a utility company. All are receiving fine professional recognition for their work. Good salaries and promotions make them happy. Never before and never again will a block long walk around the campus mean quite the same. Parents are going to record this event for March for us to pass on to our children. Perhaps parents recognize even more fully than we do that commencement is a door opening into a future full of challenge and excitement. Problems too. But college life that is realistic not only has problems but helps us find solutions. Our sights are high as we go forth. The spire on Old Main forever points our way upward as we climb the ladder to success and happiness.